It's Angela, founder of Live Tall, and on today's episode, I am so excited to be bringing you the new Live Tall swimsuit collection. So this is my kind of debut collection. I'm so excited to share it with you. I've got a lot of information to give you. A lot of thought went into this suit and a lot of details that really set this apart from anything else that you have seen on the market not only just like kind of in the market in general, but definitely as a tall woman looking for swimsuits, um, this one separates itself from the rest. So before I get started, welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, subscribe so that you can kind of keep up to date on these videos that I put out. I make my YouTube channel and I make these videos to be able to show you the product before I launch it and um, just kind of share with you all the details. And it also helps so that you can see it on a person. Uh, so if you're interested in that and you are a tall woman uh, who is looking for clothes, then this is the channel for you. So like I said, today I am talking about my new swimwear collection. And the inspiration came officially about a year ago, um, not quite a year ago, on my last summer vacation. And I don't know if it's just ever since I became a mom, um, I don't know if it's just, you know, being distracted, but lately and over the last few years, I just continue to get burnt every time I'm in the sun for an extended amount of time uh, for a couple of different reasons. I either forget to reapply my sunscreen or I'm doing it in a rush because I'm so focused on my daughter not getting burnt and making sure that she's protected that I do something quick and I always like sort of miss a spot or something just happens and I end up getting burnt. And so last summer was the absolute worst. I got burnt to a crisp on my first day of vacation, of course. And so I started to actually search for kind of sun protective things that I could wear on the remainder of my vacation. I came across something at a sporting goods store that fit the bill and kind of made it okay for the rest of the vacation. But was it something that I actually wanted to buy and something that I would have bought if I was just shopping for this item? Definitely not. And so I knew that I could create something better. It was more that the quality was just so-so. The design was okay, but most importantly, I really didn't like the way that the material felt on me when it was wet, and the rash guard itself just really came with like no support on top. Um, so I just sort of started to think and came up with this idea of this one piece rash guard. And then I saw kind of in fashion on runways, actually kind of like a month later, um, some really unique takes on a rash guard. And I saw, kind of was inspired by a few different designs where I saw this one piece rash guard kind of sleek look. And so I just started designing from there. And here we are with the finished product. If you guys are new to this channel, new to the brand, I make all of my clothes either here in Arizona, my hometown, and I also have a manufacturer in Colorado. So everything is made in the US. So there you have it, that's the background story. Um, and I'm just so excited that I was able to bring this collection to you, you know, in less than a year, so exciting. So let me start with the features of this swimsuit and kind of go over all of the important pieces to this piece, to this swimsuit. So as you can tell, it comes in a long sleeve rash guard. So it comes in a long sleeve version and it comes in a sleeveless version. Obviously, you know the background story, the reason why I created this, the long sleeve version was really just for that added sun protection. But I knew not everybody's going to really want that or you kind of have multiple suits depending on the occasion. So this suit is perfect for your boat days, your beach days, the days where you're just out in the sun and at the mercy of the rays all day. And then this one is for somebody who might not want this style but also maybe like a pool day or a day where you've got more um, access to shade or you're just not gonna be out in the sun for so long that you don't need that added protection. So that's why I created the two styles. But besides the sleeve length, the fit and everything is exactly the same. Um, so all we did was adjust the sleeves here um, and then obviously added some piping detailing, made it a sleeveless version, and there you have it. So all the fit details of each suit are exactly the same. And then they come in these two prints. And so I am wearing the pink leopard. It is year of vivid magenta. It is year of Barbie core. So I think this suit fits 
perfectly in time um, with all of the hot pink and all of the fun stuff that you're going to see this summer and even carrying into next year. So love the pink leopard. I wanted something too that was really loud and really bold because any of the things that I can find, and you know this as a tall woman, like we can find basics, right? Like we can find, you know, black, we can find white, we can find navy, beige, whatever. And so I really just wanted to create something that was bold. And so this print called to me, I went with it. But then I also wanted to offer something if you kind of wanted maybe a bolder look or you're interested in that, but you still prefer some more of a classic design, that's why I chose this print. And I'm calling it the Black X-Ray because it really is, um, it's a very kind of sporadic print. It's a palm print, but it's as if you're seeing, actually this one's a good one, the palm print kind of through the lens of an X-Ray, so it's not a solid print. What I also love about these suits is that the print was very large, and so we cut the suits just, you know, as is throughout the throughout the print on the fabric. So each suit is slightly unique. No suit is going to be the same because of the way that we cut the suits. So I kind of love that as you can even kind of see the front detailing is even and the back is a little bit different, but they still, you know, you, you'd love both of them. So that's um, kind of the overview of the two styles. Just know they're exactly the same with the exception of the sleeve length. Okay, so now I'll show you some more of the smaller details. So as you can see, it's a little bit more noticeable on mine. They are a zip front. And so the length of the zipper kind of goes down far enough that you really could actually wear it all the way unzipped if you were going for more of a sexy look. Um, so just know that you can do that. I actually think it looks great a little bit unzipped um, versus like all the way. But if you want to kind of be able to protect your skin all the way, of course, you zip all the way up. Um, I'm going to turn this inside out. Actually, I'm going to turn the pink one inside out so you can see the lining because this lining is black, so it's hard to see. This one is white. Okay, so of course the suits are fully lined. The material is a UPF 50, which protects you from the UV rays. Um, and then of course it's fully lined. So you've got a lot of extra um, protection and then this lining makes it just so that your body isn't transparent. You're not gonna be able to see through this suit at all. Even on its own, the material, like the top material that has the print on it, um, it it's thicker and it's very like, like spandexy, like almost like if Spanx were creating a swimsuit for tall women. She created a swimsuit line this year, uh, but she did not make swimsuits for tall, which is a bummer because she makes a lot of her clothes for tall. But I would imagine that her suits have this same feeling, um, if you get that real technical term. Um, but anyway, so that, so just so that you know, it's a little bit thicker. And then with the lining, like there's no way nothing's being seen through this, this um, swimsuit. So I also have like a shelf bra detailing for you as well. Um, I didn't include any cups. I feel like everybody is like, doesn't really want them there anyway. And if you did, you might have your own, especially for swim. Um, so there is a little slit if you wanted to add any type of insert for you, but if not, it's not going to take away or add anything. And then of course there's the lining here with the elastic so that you feel supported. And um, because it's separated, the line, the, the elastic with the zipper, it really just like holds you up, it gives you a nice shape. And my models were so cute in our fashion shoot um, last week, they said that they loved it because they didn't feel like they had that like uniboo look where it just like sandwiches you down. Um, for reference, I am 6'1", I'm wearing the size medium. I'm roughly like a 6'8". Um, I have tested this material on somebody, or on this suit, on somebody who is 5'11". I have tested somebody six feet, 6'1", six 6'2", six and the girls, my models were 6'3". Um, all different sizes, uh, so from a small to a large, um, bustier, um, curvier. One of my models is um, like nursing, like she's very like in between sizes and um, felt great in both the medium and the large. Um, and so anyways, I, I've tested this on a lot of different body types. So even if you are more busty, this is still fitting. Um, and I paid a lot of attention to that because in the first kind of couple samples, um, it definitely felt like it was like smushing and sandwiching me down. And it definitely doesn't feel like that anymore. 
The material, I talked a little bit about it, the fact that it is thicker and has a really great spandex feel to it, so you definitely feel like cinched in. Um, it is made of recycled polyester and like a high chlorine resistance. So I actually did some testing on some samples that were kind of unusable, some of the first rounds that we did, and I soaked it in my pool. So I put it in the chlorine water and I just took it out and I put it on the cool deck and let it sit there for days. And the material looked amazing. There was no bleaching, there was no fading. Um, so it's a very, very high resistant type of material, which I love because this print is so bold and vibrant that you wouldn't want it to become dull. And especially with the black, you really want that color to stay saturated in black. You don't want it to start to look bleached out. What I do recommend for care is to always rinse it off with water if you're not gonna actually wash it in between each use, which I really don't, um, but I definitely always rinse it off. You know, so just like get the chlorine or get the, the salt water, whatever it is, uh, but, you know, our suntan lotion, <laughs> make sure it gets a good rinse. And then I always just like lay it, you know what I mean, like lay it over your bathtub, hang it to dry um, in between each use just to really preserve it. But I did some really great testing on it and um, it lasted really well and it did really great in the sun. So it's going to stand up. It's going to be great for the whole, the whole season. So now I want to talk a little bit about some of the fit details and some of the kind of things that I focused on to make this a really great suit. So obviously, like, hello, it has to be long enough in the torso if it's going to be a tall girl swimsuit. And so again, that was something I worked a lot on. My manufacturers, of course, are just not used to making clothes like so long. They kept saying, gosh, it just looks so long. <laughs> I'm like, I know, we need it that long. Um, but one of the things that kept happening with this one piece in the rash guard was that every time I would lift my arms, it would like pull up. And so we got it right with the armhole and the length here that when you do this, like you don't get that that ride up. So it's really nice. Like if you're swimming and you're moving and you're doing all your water sports, um, it's not going to be, I mean, you can probably even tell like it's, there's no, like nothing's happening when I rise up. And I even had my models who are just a hair under six, three do the same thing. We were like doing this in all of our photos and everything just to make sure that it really had that great fit, especially in the long sleeve version. Um, the other thing that I really focused on was making sure I wanted a style that didn't feel like frumpy and matronly, but also felt like I was going to be covered. So the rise is like just kind of right in between. It's not a super high rise or a super high cut, and it's also not a super cheeky cut. So um, it doesn't like go all the way over my butt <laughs> and like cup it like a frumpy lady swimsuit, but it's also not like super high and cheeky that where I feel like if I take two steps, just gonna like ride up my butt. And we all know we've had those swimsuits. And yes, they look cute and they're very fun. And there's a time and a place for those swimsuits, but the time and a place that I wanna be on the beach playing, not worrying about picking something out of my butt, um, that's where I wanna be. And that's what these swimsuits are going to be giving you. <laughs> Another thing that I worked on a lot was making sure that this piping detailing just was very flattering and wasn't so like tight and cumbersome. So um, actually, if you can see here, this um, swimsuit, it has this like waist here. And sorry, I'm just not gonna be standing in a swimsuit on YouTube. I don't know, the day will come, I'm sure, which I can be like, woo, but it's not today. So that's why I'm wearing my live wrap skirt. So I'm gonna talk about my cover-ups in a second. But I really also um, wanted to make sure that these lines didn't dig in so the circumference of the waist of the material, let's say like I'm a 29 and a half, 30 waist, the elastic measures greater than the swimsuit so that there's no like digging in and cutting in, right? So if you are fuller through the waist, you're not gonna feel, and you should hopefully not feel like it's doing that like digging in. Um, we did a couple of iterations of that too, just to make sure that like it wasn't cutting and that it was just really, flattering, right? Um, so anyways, wanted to kind of explain that. I hope that makes sense. With regard to sizing, I used my exact same size chart that I do for my clothing line. So it's a small, medium, large, extra large, and a double extra large. If you are in between sizes or you have any questions with regards to sizing, you can comment down below, absolutely ask me a question. You can send me an email, which is hello at livetall.com or send me a DM on Instagram, which is at 
live underscore tall if you have any questions but really you should be able to follow your typical sizes in this brand and again for reference which I talked about in the beginning I'm 6'1 I'm a size 6'8 and I'm wearing the medium and it fits me great I would say if you teeter on sizes or you're teetering and you're really busty um, you know or broad just because this is fitted especially with the zipper then just size up um, there's not going to be any harm in that. Um, it's a really great spandex. You're going to be held in. It's not going to be saggy. Um, that would be my reference. Um, and if you're on, you know, the on the on the kind of teetering in between sizes, just try the next size up. That's what I would suggest. But if you have any questions and you don't want to do that, um, you can certainly send me a message, and I'll help you the best that I can. Okay. The only negative thing that I'm going to say about this swimsuit, it is really hard to take off when wet, okay? I have been wearing my samples for about a month now um, that it's been finishing up in production. I've been in the pool a lot with it. And the only negative thing that I can say is that because of this zipper and where it stops, which I guess if I made it lower, but it would really just throw off the whole design, and the fact that it's fitted in the arms, when you take this off and it is wet, it is really hard, okay? so. If you've got to go to the bathroom, you know what you need to do, okay? If you try taking it all the way off and all the way on, it's going to be a big pain. So that's the only negative thing I would say, um, but it is what it is, okay? I have, but I do want to be like, forewarn you, right? So like, just plan your bathroom trips accordingly. And the last piece is that you can't forget your cover-ups. So I don't have any new cover-ups, but all of my existing cover-ups actually paired so nicely. Um, okay, so I'm wearing the Live Wrap skirt, which I think is such a great, um, kind of like a beach to boardwalk look. I would feel completely confident going from the beach to like the bar dressed like this. I mean, sheer is a trend anyway right now, so it could look like I'm just trying to wear something sheer and not wear any pants, which is, on trend right now so um, I love pairing this skirt it's easy breezy it looks fantastic with the long sleeve rash guard what I also think obviously with the sleeveless I think the black on black is so nice I love the galaxy print these are I mean these wraps if you haven't watched my video I actually have two YouTube videos on the wraps it is how to style and wear the live wrap and also like the in detail uh, video like this one. Um, just go check them out. This is such a special piece. I've designed this uh, over 10 years ago, even though I didn't bring it into production until the last two, and I've never seen anything like this before. It's a showstopper and it's super versatile. So if you're going on vacation, you can wear this so many different ways. I just love her so much. And then I also think, again, Barbie core, the sleeveless under the palm is going to be amazing. The sleeveless under the skirt is going to be amazing. And then I also really love this. I love these two patterns together. I think it's fantastic. And this one, the pink one comes with a matching scrunchie. So you want to talk about sporty, throw your hair up and just go. I think they will work great. And so last is about the price. So the rash guard is $150 and the full, the sleeveless is $150. Okay. And I almost forgot. Um, I didn't have it here originally, so I had to go run and grab it. Um, the last piece to this swimsuit launch is the mini me launch. So this is a children's swimsuit. We are going from newborn up to a size like 9, 10. It's like a young kid um, size. And I'm so excited about this because in addition to wanting, you know, really cute swimwear that fits me really well as a tall woman, I also, you know, my daughter's five, and I always shop every year and try to look around for really cute swimwear. I'm always in the market for a one piece. That's just who I am. And so I could never find a cute one piece that I could also match with my daughter. I mean, I tried really hard. Two pieces, maybe a little bit easier to find, but not in a one piece. And so as luck would have it, as I was developing this piece, I met a leather local designer who sews and custom sews kids swimwear. Oh, so we um, connected and with the leftover material from my production, we are going to do made to order swimsuits for kids. So how that's going to work is on the day of the launch, which is going to be this Friday, June 9th, you're going to place your orders 
Um, all of my inventory for the adult swimwear is ready to ship. Of course, I have that in-house all ready to go. Uh, but this is going to be made to order simply because, I mean, that would be just like picking a needle out of a haystack of trying to determine what sizes to make because this is a whole new kind of venture for me. And so it is custom order. We're gonna have a five day window. So Friday, you know, the June 9th through the 15th. And so you're gonna put your orders in and then we're gonna sew them up individually just for you. I'm going to have on my website, which I'll make sure to link in here so it's easy for you to just click from this YouTube video back to my website. Uh, there will be a size chart uh, for you so that you can measure and know exactly what size to order for your daughter and then you get a mini me suit and now again you could find a suit that fits your daughter right because they're small all you have to do is keep sizing up but not for us not for us tall moms and so that's what this is for there's a couple of things so it's the same exact material like I mentioned it was from my leftovers that we had to make these suits it is reversible so the two prints that I used so you've got both prints in this one suit so depending on what suit you want to order as your as the mom suit, the one suit's going to come with both colors. My daughter absolutely loves the pink. That's what she's wearing the most. Um, she's definitely a pink girl. And then it's got this cute little tie detail in the back, right? So that's how it secures. This one also, because it's just the long sleeve one piece, yes, it's a little tough when it's wet to take off and take on. So just be prepared for that. And then uh, when I first got it, um, I was a little worried I didn't know if it was going to be too tight because of the double lining but just know that like when I stuck my arm through here I was like uh oh that kind of feels a little bit tight but it's fine it fits fantastic on my daughter I kept asking her like how's it feeling she's she loves it um she's been choosing it this whole last weekend over all of her other swimsuits that we have and um she's really truly loving it so of course it's got the UPF 50 just like the large version and again it's just going to be pre-order so know that your adult suit is ready right away and the kids suit will take about two to three weeks and then we'll ship it directly to you um, so I'm super excited to do this I hope that you are as excited as I am I just think it's something extra um, it's gonna be perfect for your summer vacations and I'm just thrilled with this collection the price of the suit of the kids suit is $45 um, which I also think is um, which is a great price that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. This was a longer video, so if you're still here, I appreciate you. I just had so much information, you know, with a new category and something as complicated too and touchy as swimwear, I had to provide you with all of the important information. So please let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. I hope to see you all wearing your Live Tall suits this summer. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you on the next video.